Bible, my Bible is the Word of God. I agree with the Word of God. Thank you, Lord. I'm not focusing on what I think is wrong. I'm not focusing on the steps. I'm focusing on the Word of God. That live it and abide it forever. Lord, I'm very hungry. Feed me. Lead me. Guide me. Direct me. Empower me. In every area of my life. In Jesus. Amen. Making godly decisions in difficult times. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Making godly decisions in difficult times. The Lord spoke to me. He said, the only decision you want to make as a Christian is a decision that pleased me. It's a godly decision. There are no alternatives. You cannot say, well, maybe if you get tough enough for my duties, I might do, no, 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 no. Once you give a life to Jesus, once you've been washed with the blood of the Lamb, once you have been justified, sanctified, redeemed, set free, the only decision you can make is based on what the Bible says. Yeah. If you're not doing that, then you're missing out on God's best. Yeah. Many Christians are missing out on God's best. The Lord showed me something that was very interesting. Book of Acts, you know, chapter 7, when Stephen was talking, and he was saying that, uh, he said they are just like their parents. Stiff neck people. He said, the prosecute the prophet, they do everything else. So the Bible said that they, they, they lied on him and they were trying to stone him. But you know what the Bible said? While they were trying to stone him, he was looking up and they saw Jesus standing. Mm -hmm. Stephen stopped Jesus standing mm -hmm. while they were stoning him. Yeah. Many of us have been looking at the people that are stoning us. That's why you can't forgive. Some people did me wrong. My supervisor said we can find out. Okay, we'll just log in. I said, no, I don't want to know. Because mm -hmm. I released them all to you. Many people are just craving to find out who did you wrong. Mm -hmm. So you can strike him like a serpent. Mm -hmm. A sheep serpent. serpent. Sheep or serpent. They were stoning Stephen. While they were stoning him. He said, Lord, don't hold it against them. Many of us try to find out who did us wrong so we know to hold up forgiveness against. You just got to be missing it. Yeah. <clears throat> if you find out who did you wrong, that will make it more difficult. Because now, now you have people in your mind that need to, need to forgive. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. But you see, if you don't forgive, you can never be, be a, a godly Christian. Can, mm -hmm. can never make a godly decision. They were stone, he can feel the stone, but he was not looking in the direction of the stone. He can feel the stone, he was not looking in the direction of the stone, he was looking to Jesus. Standing up, hey, hey, at the right hand. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hey, Lord, is holy. Thank you, Jesus. Many of us, all you see is, is stones. I say, I see Jesus standing up. <laughs> you see stones, you see Jesus. You see who's stoning you. So you're working on forgiveness. It'd be difficult to make a godly decision when you're focusing on folk that didn't know. Amen. Ow, get him, Holy Ghost. I told you it was coming. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. He alone is worthy. Worthy to be praised. God spoke to me profoundly. He said, my people have been focusing on who did them wrong. If they don't know, they go and find out. You want to verify it. So you know to walk against. I said, you want to verify. So you know to walk against. Thank you, Jesus. You better let go of all offenses. Too many people have a residual forgiveness. If you have a residual anything, that's what's going to keep you from making a godly decision. Because you're already out. When Christ died for you, I mean that for the whole package. Spirit, soul, and body. Wow. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 7, verse 54. Acts 7, 54, Psalm from 54. When the members of Sandra had this, they were furious and gnashed their teeth at him. But Stephen, full of the Holy Ghost, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heavens open. Son of man standing at the right hand of God. At this, they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their voices. They all rushed at him, dragged him out of the city, and began to stone him. Meanwhile, they laid the, their coats at the foot of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord, Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees, cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. He was looking at Jesus, 
and he was saying, don't hold it against them. He said that because he didn't know. He wasn't looking at whoever was turning it. Many of us specialize. We spend months trying to figure out who was wrong. So we can strike him. So we can make him pay for it. Rob him knows something mud. Make, make him feel what he felt. Still be a Christian. Yeah, come on. Say, Lord, don't hold it against them. Isn't that what Jesus Christ did? Forgive them, Father, for they don't know what they are doing. Don't hold it against them. Same thing. Yeah. Wow. I think we need to we, we, we need a notch to grow. We need to grow a notch. Yeah. Yeah. By not holding things against people. And by not focusing on those that do you wrong. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God in the highest. As a true Christian, we aim to please God. The only decision that the only decision that we want to make as a true Christian is the decision that falls in line with the word of God. But you know what the Bible says? For their forces, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Destroyed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We need to read the whole thing. People just say, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. But we don't read the rest of it. We need to read the rest of it. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What kind of knowledge? Knowledge of the word of God. You know what the Bible says, but... You burn it so hard that you want to do it. That's what you feel like doing it. Guess what the Bible says? Because I have the revengeful spirit. Wow. Mm. People are deserved for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge, because you have rejected what the Bible says. Yeah. I want to reject you also. Mm. See, nobody talk about that one. They just say, My people are deserved for lack of knowledge. Yeah. And, then, and then they go somewhere else. It's a whole verse. Don't read a corner of a verse and keep going. Let's read the whole verse. My people are so it was there for six. I read it to you. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Same verse six. Because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you as my priest. Because you have ignored the law of the Lord, I will also ignore your children. So what we do can affect our children. Yeah. If children is acting a fool, ask yourself. Well, am I am I lining up with the word of God? I'm working on forgiveness and bitterness and envy and jealousy and anger. I expect my children to walk. They won't be working right. You sow the seed. Wow. And people are destroyed for never read the whole thing. Because people have never had the whole thing in a long time. And people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They go somewhere else. Let's read it again. <laughs> this is why I want to make the world a godly decision. Yeah. So it can be well with our children and grandbabies and great grandbabies and everybody else. Yeah. You are not responsible. You are responsible for, for your decision that you make. Mm -hmm. But the outcome you cannot control. Mm -hmm. The repercussion of it. The, mm -hmm. <laughs> what comes after that you cannot control. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. you cannot sow a white seed. Mm -hmm. You cannot sow thorns mm -hmm. and expect an apple. Mm -hmm. Apple tree to grow. Mm -hmm. So my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. This is Hosea 4, 6, okay? The rest of it is because we have rejected knowledge of the word of God. I know this is what the Bible says, but this is what I'm going to do. Well, I got some news for you. If you reject knowledge, I will also reject you as my priest. You be a priest, but there will be no anointing. You know people that are there, Christians with no anointing? And this has been saved for a little while, but saved but cold. Try as a toenail. Because of rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priest. And because I have ignored the law, because I have ignored what the Bible says, and I have also ignored what you That's why we don't want to hear. We want to bless everything, but just ignore what the Bible says. But I'm to bless everything. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest, and happy be unto all men, <laughs> on whom his favor rest. Thank you, Jesus. He alone is worthy. What it to be praised. A true Christian must make God's decisions only. And that's the only way we can, we can do it. It is easier to make God's decisions if you have the knowledge of what the Bible says Amen. and are not rebellious against it. Amen. It is this, it's easier to make God's decisions if I know what the Bible says and are not rebellious against what I know yes, the Bible says. People, some people don't know the act in ignorance. Some people know they still go against it because it's not, it's not what they want to do. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes obeying God makes us feel stupid. Mm -hmm. 
God trying to make a sting out of it. Pow. But God said, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Yeah. You cannot make your own pow. God have to be the one to put this thing. Mm -hmm. Because you feel like if you make your own pow, it will, it will have a bigger instant. It will sting a lot more. But you see, we are called to be sheep, not serpent. Sheep don't strike like a serpent. I say a sheep don't strike like a serpent. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Verse, this is like, uh, Hebrews 5, 11. Talk about it before. We have so much, so much to say about this, but it is hard to make it clear to you because you no longer try to understand. You no longer try to understand. Hebrews 5, 11 through 14. He said, I have so many, so many things to share with you, but it's difficult to share with you because you no longer try to understand or you no longer, no longer try to get the knowledge. You stop the knowledge because it, you might be frustrated, you might be discouraged. Whatever reason you have, never stop trying to know more about God. Never stop reading the Word. Never stop learning more about what the Bible says. Because that's our way of life. That what is a lamp unto my feet and a lamp light unto my path. How can a young man keep his way pure by living according to your Word? Your Word about hidden in my heart. If you no longer try to understand, then the Word is not in your heart. How can you not sin against him? Mm. If what I'm hidden in my heart, I'm not sinned against you. I'm, I'm putting Psalm 119, verse uh, 9 through 11 with this one. I'm just, you understand? Yes, sir. So, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I want to say about it, but it's hard to make it clear to you because you no longer try to understand. The, the suction, the interest in what the Bible says, the interest in the information about what the Bible says, so I can live according to what the Bible says, the interest is dwindling down. You no longer try to understand. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult. <laughs> so, but, so, so when, when the person no longer try to understand what the Bible say, then it's difficult to grow. He said, at this time, it's all to be leader. You're still whining. Yeah. You're still an infamy yeah. without iron or with iron. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. In fact, at this time, you ought to be teachers. Yeah. Yeah. We need some, someone to teach you the elementary truth of God's word all over again. Why? Because you stopped learning. Yeah. You stopped the knowledge. For whatever reason, either you're frustrated or, or God is not moving fast enough for you, you stop the knowledge. Yeah. Mm. Verse 14 is a good one. Solid food is for the mature, who by constant use, by constant, what does that mean? By constantly making decisions based on what the Bible says. By constant use means by constantly making decisions on what the Bible says. Yes, mm -hmm. what I want to do, but what does the Bible say about this? Let, mm -hmm. let me find out what the Bible says. All of a sudden, you're trying to plant evil to pay back people that do you wrong. Then you run into a verse. Do not repay evil with evil, but repay evil with good. Yeah. But vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Oh, I don't want to say that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that right now. I don't know what the Bible says. Really? Have a nice day. Be what between you and me. Lightly my strike. <laughs> That's why it's so difficult to make God's decisions. Because I feel like God's decision, God's decision will not have enough impact. Mm -hmm. You will not have enough sting. I, I want them to feel what I feel. Mm -hmm. That's what we think. Mm -hmm. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He alone is worthy. Thank you, Jesus. We must not be ignorant of what, what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. must not be ignorant. Hallelujah. We must have a hunger and thirst for the word of God. Mm -hmm. We must understand that there are consequences for every decision that we make. Every decision that we are make, there are consequences that go along with it. Yes, every decision that we make, there are consequences that go along with it. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord want me to tell you this. He said, you are not living by yourself. You didn't fall of the sky. Mm -hmm. Whatever decision you make will affect the whole church, the whole people, your family, your, the Christian world, the Christian world, if you say you're a Christian, so you have to really, really what where you step. Yeah. Out to what where I step. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. I don't care if you're not on the television. It will affect somebody adversely. Yeah. Some people are waiting for us to make mistakes so we can point the fingers. The Bible of Christianity is, I don't want to be part of it. Yeah. You are never part of it anyway. Yeah. Waiting to die. Yeah. Waiting to go to hell. Yeah. Are you for a reason to go? Yeah. Yeah. 
Do not be the one they have to point the finger to. Yeah. Whatever decision you make, or I make, affect the whole Christian world. Mm. Affect your family, affect your church, affect the Christian. I just affect, 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 affect. Wow. You don't drop a coin in the ocean, the ripple goes on and it expands as it goes. You ever drop something before in the pool? How come, how come it goes like this, like a wave? Even do a hit on the one point. Why do it like a wave? Mm -hmm. It's called the ripple effect. Mm. Sometimes the ripple effect of earthquake can do a whole lot more damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not an epicenter, but it's still causing damage as it goes along. Mm -hmm. So I to watch my life and doctrine closely. Yeah. I cannot preach based, based on what I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody do me not get on the pulpit. The devil is a liar. Yeah. God's people are hungry. Mm -hmm. They need the word, yeah. the word of God. Yeah. If you have the privilege of what to feed, then get out the pulpit in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to settle you with the people that make you men. Yeah. Get out the pulpit and settle with the people that make you men. Yeah. Who gave you the right to use the pulpit yeah. to, con to control and, and discipline people? Yeah. That's, not, that's not what the reason I don't care who you do I don't care if it's a pope or bishop or whatever it is. Stop doing it. Yeah. And, and preach the gospel. Hallelujah. So people can be saved yeah. and turn around. Yeah. I cannot afford to walk in unforgiveness towards anybody. You know why? Yeah. When people have some problems, they come, they call me immediately. Mm. They're not going to ask me, where did you forgive everybody before I ask you? <laughs> How often do you talk to me and ask me if I forgive people before I pray for you? Yeah. Oh, somebody's in the ear right now. Pastor, just pray. I'm telling you, it's a critical. Pray, pray, pray. We need, some, we, need some, we need to do something right now. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. We need to pray for people. Yes. If I have an ought against you, I come and talk to you in person. Yes. Amen. If I'm not talking to you, there's no ought. Yes. You're never worried about me. Yes. I deal with issues. You may not like it, but I'm not talking to you. I'm gone. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Making God a decision. The Bible says if somebody has an ought against you or you have an ought against someone, you go to them and talk to them one on one. Yeah. It's easier to talk about them like a doctor to everybody else. Yeah. But I tell you, look at them, look at them with a the cross eye. Yeah. Mm. That no good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know you shouldn't have married him. Mm -hmm. I mean, you shouldn't have married that. You made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Trying to destroy your marriage with their tongue. Yeah. Because you opened the door for them. How? Yeah, Get him on the ghost. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, Thank you. Every time we open our mouth to preach the gospel, the Bible says Satan that are edifying. People are already down. They are written down. They don't need to help you. They don't need to come and tell them how down they are. Amen. Thank you. How down there is not the gospel. God can lift you up in the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. No matter where you're being, no matter what you've done wrong, God is yeah. able to, to heal. It's yeah. like the it's our, God is our refuge, God is our strength. It's a very good help that of trouble. It's a forgiving God. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. God is simply read as captain. He shall be white as snow. If you are willing and you are obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Yeah. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That we both say the Lord our helper. Don't you ever give up. Don't you ever quit. He that is not spear is only begotten son. But having delivered for us all, how can he not freely through give us all things? Yeah. Jesus said, If I can give you my life, I can only give you everything freely if you trust me. Yeah. But if you don't read the Bible, then my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because, because you refuse to uh, acknowledge him, you refuse to believe that. Yeah. Because faith comes by what? Yeah. Hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yeah. Hearing and hearing. Yeah. Listen to me, I'm not talking about no Christian music. Read the word. Yeah. What if the person is not. Seeking God before they sing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I said, I said, I, I, I saw devotional life. Yeah, I listen to Christian music all the time. Mm. Christian music? Christian music? That's a devotional life. Yeah. You have a Bible app? Mm. You have a King James? Mm. You have a mm. No Queen James, so you have a King James? <laughs> <laughs> you have an NIV? Uh, 
You have an amplifier. No. You, you have a leather grain. Yes. I don't know about my leather grain. Yeah. I want to tell you about my leather grain. Yeah. That was before the before the iPad mm. and, the, and these things came out. Yeah. I went to Christian store. Mm. They are bonded leather and it's cheaper. But they said leather grain is more, more expensive but doesn't tear apart. So I went. Uh huh. I bought the leather green. I'm telling you, because I wanted to laugh a long time. Well, I can feel the pressure man coming up. I wanted to laugh a long time. As long as I bought my leather green, uh -huh. the iPhone came out. And the iPad came out. And my leather green was an NIV. Uh -huh. But on the iPhone, I could get an NIV and King James and Adam. I don't pay so much money for that thing. I look at it and say, oh, my leather green. Oh, leather green. I was going through. Yeah, freak. Yeah, I feel my help is coming. Yeah, yeah. Praise God, hallelujah. Yeah. You are very precious today. Yeah. Never let there be a time that you too Serious or too upset to let the word of God be the guide. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are more than some kind today. You need to understand and know the value of what the Bible says. If you hold on to what the Bible says, you never go wrong. I never leave you nor forsake you. That you may boldly say, Lord, my helper. Amen. God is our helper. You are not alone. You may feel like you are alone, but this is the Christ of God. Are you listening? Yeah. There are people that are Christians and they are depressed. You know why? They forget the location of God. Come on. Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge. God is our strength. What? It's a very present help in times of trouble. When trouble comes, don't look for trouble, look for God. Very present help in times of trouble. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, put the preacher man coming up now. Isaiah chapter 48, uh -huh, verse 17 to 19. Isaiah 48. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah. God is awesome. God is awesome. Yeah. Making all the decisions. At all times. Amen. In difficult times, not just at all times. At all. Difficult, easy, at all times. If what you're praying for will not allow you a time to pray, because they say they have only two left, then it's not God. But we're trying to buy a car, they say, oh yeah, hurry up. Put, about 10 people already called for that car. You better hurry up and get it. Do you have a time to pray yet? No, then it's not God. Amen. You know why? Amen. The Bible says, believe not every spirit, but try every spirit to see the day of God. If you won't give you a chance to pray, don't worry about it. It's not God. Amen. If you won't give you a chance to pray and see God's face, Amen. then it's not God. I don't care what it is. Yeah. If you sow before you can finish praying, then it's not God. If it's God best for you, He holds it until you finish praying. Because He told you to believe not every spirit, to try every spirit to see the day of God. Never be too much in a hurry about praying. Relax. Relax. Whatever God has for you, stuff for you, he got a name on it. It's not going to go anywhere. He wait for you to pray because the Bible is for you to pray before you do things. Mm -hmm. So don't make no mistakes. Mm -hmm. Devil say, hurry up. Because if you pray, you will make mistakes. And, and the devil desire for us to make mistakes. Say, hurry up. Do it quickly. I was talking to somebody one time. He said, if I see something I like, I just buy it and feel going to to pay for it later on. I look at her, she looks serious. I say, oh, God, help this child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, help this child. <laughs> she said, I see something I really, really like. I don't always know that something. Somebody else might get it. I just go in and get it quickly. Then I figure out how to pay for it later. Oh, wait. Figure out how to pay for it later. Definition of debt. Yeah. 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 Figure out how to pay for it later yeah. after you get into it. Yeah. They swipe it in one time. Whoops. It might take 10 years to pay for it. But just one swipe is what you need. In the wrong direction. It just need a swipe in the wrong direction. You need two swipes. Mm -hmm. Just one swipe. My pay for it for tally. Just one swipe. <coughs> wow. Isaiah 48. This is what the Lord says. Don't, don't you just love it when He says, Our Redeemer, and forgive us of all our sins? If you enjoy that, then it says something. Then they allow you to forgive people what they did to us. Ooh, they can do it. No, oh. They're not excited about that one. God forgive us our sin. Hey. Hallelujah. We'll be redeemed. Yes. Hallelujah. Justified. Yes. Yeah. Set free. Hallelujah. 
All our sins are forgiven. Your sins are iniquity now. Remember no more. Thank you. Yeah. Forgive people that make you mad. Oh. Yeah. I want to put that in the sandwich in between. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is good because what God did for us. Yeah. But what we want to do for other people that God told us to do in between. Yeah. Listen to this. Isaiah 48 17. This is what the Lord says, your Redeemer. Thank you, I've been redeemed. I've been brought back from the slavery of sin. Amen. The Holy One of Israel. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you. I'm the Lord your God. Yes. Who teaches you what is best for you. Hallelujah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. God said, I teach you what's best for you. Isn't that? Mm. If God's going to teach you what's best for you, how come you're not asking Him? God said, I'm going to teach you what's best for you. Why are you not asking Him? He wants to teach if you listen mm -hmm. to Him. I'm your redeemer. I'm the holy one of Israel. I want to teach you what's best for you. If you, know, if you want to know what's best for you, then let God teach you. Because I don't know what's best for me. Amen. I don't know God told me to marry my wife and I did. Amen. And I found out that was best for me. Do you hear what I said? Yeah. I, know too, I didn't know too much about about my wife. Later I know she can make chicken and rice and tell you she can win it. Let's stick with Putin. Uh, <laughs> this is what the Lord said, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I'm the Lord your God, who teaches you what is best for you. I like that. Who directs you in the way you should go. I love it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, do not your own understanding, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Thank you, the Spirit. God is telling me to tell you right now. You are not by yourself. God is with you. Don't be down on yourself. Don't be depressed. Don't feel like you're alone. Don't feel like nobody cares. God is telling me to tell you, I really care about you. I really love you. You belong to me and I belong to you. you are, how come you don't talk to me? What? Who told you you're alone? See, you don't feel like you're alone because you don't talk to me. You don't understand my location. I love you. Don't be down. Don't be depressed. Don't feel like you are lonely. You may be alone, but you are not lonely. I'm with you. Yeah. I never leave you nor forsake you. That you may boldness and lose my helper. Hallelujah. I love you. Yeah. I care about you. Hallelujah. Come unto me, yeah. and I will answer you. And I will show you that mighty thing that you do not know. Yeah, thank you. Yet I offer the value of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Right. You run and you start to comfort me. God is saying to him, from, I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. He said, I love you. Don't you ever believe a lie that nobody cares. Don't you ever believe a lie that nobody loves you. Don't you ever believe a lie that, well, you're just feeling lonely, just feeling depressed. Says who? Pick up the Bible and read. Hallelujah. Read the part that said, I never, your sins are iniquity, will I remember no more? Read the part, the part of the Bible that said, You're a royal priesthood, a holy nation, you be called out of darkness, you be of light. You are not a people, but now you are sons and daughters of the living God. You are not of ten mass, but now you have mercy. I will have fainted unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What on the Lord? I'm doing a good courage, and I'll strengthen you. I won't say on the Lord. Now I'm back to my street now. Amen. I got for this. I don't know who that is for, but I know the, I know the Holy Ghost movement. I'm telling you now, I know the Holy Spirit. You will take it to heart. You will take it to heart when the devil will play with your head and tap dance when you live here. I'm telling you now. God has to stop this to tell you that. So when you get to me, you won't be feeling the same way you felt when you came. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God knows no time, no no time. I, I pray before I came. And you listen to me, I said, oh, when I speak, you know, you flow through me. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, know who's coming. And I don't know what they need. I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know who is coming, and I don't know what they need. You flow when I get there. Amen. So when God is throwing you by the Lord, instead of saying, Lord, you found me, say, Oh, yeah. You can't be preaching like that. Somebody told him something. With a renewed mind, that someone told him. That somebody is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And there's something. It's God Almighty. Amen. 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 But let me go back to the Amen. 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 Uh -huh. After that, I'm preaching now. I, I did my part already. I'm flowing by the Holy Ghost already. Amen. If you don't catch on today, we'll praise the Lord for you. But this time you have to be teachers, you can need someone to teach you all over again. Because right. every time knowledge of the word of God comes, you just kind of ignore it. Amen. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 17. This, this is what the Lord says. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord, your God. Your God who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way that you should go. If only you had paid attention to my yeah. 
command. If you have paid attention to what I just finished telling you, mm. that you are not, if you just have paid attention to what, what you've been hearing since I've been preaching, mm. if only you have paid attention to what I'll show you in the Word of God that the Bible says, if we pay, this is what's going to happen if you pay attention. Hallelujah. You. Your peace will be like a river. Mm. Your well being like the waves of the sea. You. Your descendant will have been like the sand. Your children like a numberless grain. And their name will never be blotted out or destroyed from before me. If only you just have paid attention. Amen. If you pay attention yeah. to the love of God for you, if you pay attention to the knowledge of what the Bible says, yeah. you, are, you say you are the apple of my eye. Act like it. You, the, you say you are the apple of my eye, I don't know. Nobody seems to care. Eh, hey, nobody seems to care. <laughs> Don't say you're the apple of my eye, don't you know? You don't mess up with some, apple of somebody's eye, you be in oh, trouble. Amen. Somebody's apple of God's eye, you don't mess with them. You be in trouble with God. Amen. I'm telling you, you get some whooping. Yes. You leave me alone. They will leave God's people alone. Yes. They may not be perfect, but that's the apple of his eye. Amen. Leave me alone. Yes. God's people may not be perfect. This is to me. They are the apple of his eye. Leave the apple of his eyes alone. Amen. Before you get in trouble. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God in the highest. Thank you, Lord. We must not be ignorant of God's word. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hey, I'm, te you. I'm telling you, I've not arrived yet, but every time I'm meditation based on what the Bible says, I can just see the outcome of it. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah, it's man. wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. That's why I really, really thank God for my wife. My wife was saying, if it's not for her father, she would never have married me. See, I don't know what to do, where you're coming from. I've never seen you before. How can I just marry somebody I've never seen? But the father told her ahead of time before I came. Isn't God wonderful? Yeah. Listen to me. Don't try to do everything about God. Just do the part he show you. God never told me that he was working on somebody in Africa to tell my wife. You understand? The part I know. God said, buddy, I'm going to send you to Nigeria. This time when you get to Nigeria, you're going to meet your wife. The same that I was telling him to go to Nigeria, and I asked him what should I go. He said, Go in August. See, I always ask questions, don't just jump and, and start flying. Yeah. I've caught yeah. with not enough instruction. Yeah. Ask him, mm -hmm. What should I go? What should I do? Yeah. Specific instructions. Yeah. He said, Body go in August. If I didn't believe God, I would have spent 1800 or $2,000 for a flint ticket going when I'm not sure. See, that's the problem with us. We're trying to play it safe. I know God told me to do this, but. Get the board out and be obedient for a change mm -hmm. and see the result mm -hmm. of being obedient to God. Amen. God told me to go to Nigeria to get a wife and God told my father in law who never met me but prayed to tell my wife to wait for me. Mm -hmm. He said, God said, You're not the son is way. We don't know where it's coming from on the planet, but the son is way. Yeah. So wait here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he get, my wife said, Where? Well, my friends are going to London, graduated from the same university together. The father said, Son, let me tell you something, daughter. If you go to London, you're going to be married. But not to the one God have for you. Mm -hmm. The person that God have for you is not going to London. It's coming right here. Mm -hmm. So you stay right here. It's not going to London. It's coming right here. Mm -hmm. He said, now, when the guy gets here now, and he's going to shoot straight. He will not tell but about the bush. Don't say yes. Don't say no. Come to us. Let's pray. Make sure that's the person we are waiting for. Mm -hmm. that's right. See, God will never show you all the path. If you show the, all the path, then you have to walk by faith. Mm -hmm. He show you a path, and as you walk by faith, Heading towards that, yes, I'm going to come this way yeah. to meet you. It's called divine connection. Yeah. God never show you a part of the divine. Mm -hmm. To show you a mere part of the divine means you don't have to have faith because you know everything about everything. Mm -hmm. Just have to trust God. Yeah. Faith is believing in God and you see a sea. Yeah. Whenever you see it's a seashore. Yeah. Faith is Abraham believing that God said, pack a bag and go. God didn't tell him where to go. And the pack is like, guys, it's wild. God, I love Abraham's wife. They were working with him. The family went with him. He, he took his cattle and cows and everything with him. Everybody went with him. Don't ask him where he's going because he don't know yet. Mm -hmm. But when the guy did that was the promised land. Amen. By faith, Abraham sojourned in the promised land. Yes, and they built a tent there. He might look at the tent now, in the future, we're going to own this whole place. Mm -hmm. He owned the real estate of the place, even though he had a tent there. Amen. See, Amen. if you have 200 acres, or oh, 500 acres or 1,000 acres, mm -hmm. you might have just a tent in the middle of it. It's all yours. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me say something. If you have 10,000 acres mm -hmm. and you have a small tent, even at the edge or in the middle of it, 
People can look and say, well, you must not be a rich man. You got this under the tent. Well, you got 20,000 acres. So don't let, don't let the tent fool you. Yeah. When God tells you to begin to move, start moving in that direction. Hallelujah. People may see a tent and start mock, making a mockery, but you have the last laugh. Trying to make it a mockery of, of a promised land. Because look like there's a tent on there. The whole land. Amen. As far as you can see. As far as you can see, it's all yours. As far as you can see, it might be. It might, see, people are going by side. They look at the tent. Oh, yeah, a tent. That was one of the richest men on the planet. Father Abraham. He got, but he put the tent there. He, he used that to secure. He used that to secure. You ever tried to go to places before? If it's a good show. And you sit down and you put some clothes and things there. What are you doing? You're securing the place for people that are coming. Mm -hmm. I say, you're securing the place for people that are coming. Right. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> That's the way it was. Took off one to Nigeria, one for the 20, 144 million people, not more, within 24 hours. And we got married. Eight days after we met. Amen. As soon as I show up, I saw like this. There was an expression of the Holy Ghost inside of me. You met your wife, this is it. You met your wife, this is it. That's how God said, but all oh, this, look at that, look at that. That is your wife. <laughs> <laughs> just kept on going. I could not put them, I just went to say, you know something? You don't know me from a man on the moon. I'll tell you one thing, you're my wife. I said, don't tell my wife for it now. You go and pray about it. If that is so, come back here and marry me. If not, pretend like I said, dream. Got on, got on the car, wrote quickly to her father, said, hey! God walk up to me and say, you're my wife, and don't take my word for it. You go and pray about it. If it's not so, pretend like it's a dream. If it's so, come back here and marry me. Come back in three days, say, my father say, yes, you're the one we're waiting for. Woohoo! <laughs> I have my <no> wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. But that's it.